Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Helpful Lockpicker here, and the video I have for you today is an example of a tool that I feel that everyone in Locksport should own. It is a very helpful tool, and it can really help get you out of some bad situations. The tool that I'm going to feature today is going to be a plug spinner. You can get these from various manufacturers, but they can just be a really convenient tool that can help you out a lot. I'm going to have some more information on this coming up in just a second. Please stay tuned. I want to first start off by asking you, have you ever been in the following situation? Have you ever worked very hard to open up a lock, only to pick it the wrong way? Say you picked your lock open clockwise, but in order to get it truly open, you needed a counterclockwise pick. These tools are specifically designed to help with that. What they do is they are spring-loaded, and what you need to do is turn them in the direction that you need to get your lock open. So if I have opened my lock up clockwise so that it is turned over to the right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my plug spinner, and then I'm going to hit the button, and it's going to rapidly fire counterclockwise, and it will get the lock open. What happens is, is it spins the plug so quickly that it will not relock the lock, and these can save you so much time. They are very handy in the field if you've ever tried to open up a lock and we're not paying attention, or sometimes locks are very stubborn and they only want to open up, say, counterclockwise, and then you can just plug spin them to clockwise because they just pick easier in one direction versus the other. What I'm going to do now is show you an example of this in action. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick this lock open and show you an example of using one of the plug spinners so you can see how quickly and effective it can be. So let's just get this lock open very quickly here. Let's go one, two, three, four. Okay, good click on five. One, two, three. All right, so now the lock is open. So what happens if this lock was installed in a way where if I turned it to the clockwise position, that is the locked position, that is going to lock the door. But I wanted to try to get the door unlocked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a plug spinner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my plug spinner and I'm going to turn it in a way that when I fire it, it is going to turn over in the desired direction. So you got to bear in mind that these are spring-loaded and they can really deliver a lot of power. Since this lock is not actually in a door, I do not need to twist it too much because I do not need to overcome the mechanisms in the door that are able to make the lock work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert it in here, get it nice and snug, and I'm going to hit the button. And you can see that I've turned it a little bit extra, but it did go all the way. You can see that it was able to turn right over where the shear line is. And you can see that we have now gone from clockwise to counterclockwise. These plug spinners can save you a lot of time. They can be just very, very useful, and they are a lot of fun to use. They are not a very expensive tool to get, and I highly recommend that you check them out. They take a little bit of practice, but they can just be a really valuable tool to have in your tool set when you're working on locks. What I'd like to do now is get an example of a slow motion shot of the plug spinner in action. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my plug spinner up right now and then on three we're going to try spinning this lock. So we're going to activate our plug spinner on one, two, and three. So now our lock is on the opposite side. The plug spinner worked very well. Hopefully that slow motion shot was pretty cool. I really, really enjoy having one of these. They work very well. They are a great tool to have. And I really hope that you will consider checking one out. Now I'd like to talk about some of the limitations with plug spinners. They work very well, especially in a lab setting. When you have your kick cylinders like this and they're not installed, they don't have much mechanical resistance, but as soon as you start installing them, oftentimes the tail pieces are going to be coming into contact with the rest of the locking mechanism. And when you start to try to plug spin them, sometimes you're going to need to come over much more resistance than the plug spinner can handle. You can see that in mortise locks, deadbolt locks, and the key and knob locks. I find that they work best on door knobs, and sometimes you can have a lot of difficulty with deadbolts. 
but the plug spinners, when they work, they work very well and they can save you a tremendous amount of time. But either way guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. This has been a fun little video on how to use a plug spinner. I find them to be just a very, very useful tool and they can save you a lot of time and aggravation. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you all have a great day and just thank you so much for checking this out.